In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down part three of our West Coast free offensive guide I'm doing on my YouTube channel uh, for you guys. Now, if you missed part one and part two, don't worry. We'll kind of give a little bit of a recap, and then we will also have a link in the description of this video where you can go check out the playlist uh, that has all the videos in it. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never seen any of my videos before, my channel is all about helping you get better at Madden 21. We try to do that through a variety of different ways, and one of the ways that we do that is through uploading four videos a day on, Ma on our Madden YouTube channel that are designed to teach different concepts, different tactics, different tools that you can use to be more effective as a Madden player in this game. So if you're uh, interested in getting better at this game, I would 100% encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Now, before we jump into the video, I do wanna highlight one thing, and that is our text message membership. Now, this is another tool that we have at our channel. Um, so basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you guys more access to me and to um, and to my content and to a higher level or a, a little bit deeper of level of the game. So for those of you that want to go kind of to that next tier, um, again, the text message membership is 100% free of charge. And basically what it is is you text me, um, you text my cell phone number, which is 812-216-3644. It's also in the top left-hand corner of your screen. So you text me. And then what I do is I send you a link to a playlist that has um, our text message member videos in it. And those videos uh, cover a variety of different topics, um, but they're basically typically more high level, more in depth, and just a little bit deeper um, knowledge of the game. So if you haven't picked those up yet, um, again, what are you waiting for? It's completely free. All you gotta do is text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner of your screen, and we update this membership every single week. So you're always getting the latest and greatest uh, tactics that are coming out in the Madden community. So really, really excited about that. And I just wanted to share that with you before we jump into part three. Now, I hope you guys have been enjoying this West Coast series um, that we've been doing on the channel today. And uh, I, I just think it's really, um, this offense is kind of, like I said, you know, like I've said in the other videos, it's really fun. Uh, it's really, really simple. And um, it's, it's, in my opinion, it's still really, really effective. So um, what we've been doing in the first two plays is the first two plays from this were the play deep attack right here and the play mesh post. So these were the two primary plays um, from the first two videos. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of shift gears. So we've been talking about flooding the middle of the, the, middle of the defense. And now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of try to take advantage of that and the fact that they're going to have to overplay that a little bit. They're probably going to have to, uh, with even their user, be a little bit more attentive to that. And we're going to go to a play that I really, really like. And I think if you understand it a little bit, you're going to realize that it is better um, than it looks. And um, that is the play corner strike. Now, this play, in essence, is a smash concept. But really what we're going to use it as is an outside flood on both sides of the field to be able to kind of take advantage of the fact that we have forced them to hard flat. We forced them to play good middle of the field coverage. And now what we're going to do with this play is we're going to take advantage if they're not mabling on both sides. And even if they are mabling on both sides, they're still going to be windows to throw the ball uh, very effectively. So let's jump right into uh, today's video. So first and foremost, corner strike against man. Um, and I want to show you this uh, this route. Now, this is specifically press man coverage. So if you see press man coverage, which would look something like what I'm showing you right here, this is just basic press man coverage. What I want you to do is I want you to take the inside slot receiver and just streak him. You might get a beat press animation and it might beat, beat man right up the seam, right? That's option one. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to smart route Scotty Miller. And what you're going to notice here is he's going to basically go on what's what looks like a slant out. Now, if you have a route running advantage or if you have 90 route running or higher, whenever they run this specific type of route, they're going to get a significant amount of separation. Scotty Miller obviously doesn't have 90 or higher route running, so you kind of do need them to be in a press man situation to be able to take advantage of what I'm about to show you. Now, uh, of course, what you're going to see here is we're going to motion him out. We're going to motion him back in. 
and then we're going to motion him back out and snap right here. And essentially what that's going to happen is he's going to get over the press man. Now, as you see right there within cover two man, the safety is going to come over and he's going to have a, ch a, a chance at making a play on the ball because they're in a cover two man press defense. Most of the time they won't be. Uh, most people that defend bunch don't really defend it with cover two man. But if they do, if they do try to defend this with cover two man, I just want to show you what you can do. And it's simply to take him, once he gets that animation right there, just pass lead it up into the outside. And you're going to click on and you're going to swerve catch it. Right there we didn't get the animation that we wanted, um, which is fine. In that situation, I would begin to work the backside. Um, I just want to really show you this route, though, because it is a really powerful route. Um, and, and it's a route that really, I think, does a good job, especially against press man to man. Now, pr you're really not going to want to call, to be completely honest with you, you're not going to want to call. There you see right there, get that over the shoulder animation. You're not going to want to call corner strike against press coverage man to man. Um, that's really not what it's designed to beat. But. Um, you know, that's kind of what the other plays are designed to be. So if they're running press man, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily make a ton of sense in light of the other plays that we've been running. But I do want to show you this route on the left side. If you have a receiver that has good route running, um, you'll typically you'll typically get good separation on this. Now, understand that if they get that little animation right there that you just saw where Mike Evans beats him off the press, what you want to make sure to not make the mistake to do is not do what I just did and basically throw the ball, um, it, it, basically throw the ball and allow that cornerback time to recover. You want to just hit him right instantly. So right here, I'm just going to pass it him to the inside. It's just a quick, um, it's just a quick hitter uh for for your offense right and you can look to that quick and then you can come back right side and see you know kind of what's going on on the right side as well uh, as far as your progressions go uh, and, and you'll see right here um when you give scotty miller space to run you see that that route will open up uh against against man-to-man -man coverage but really what i want to do and like i said you know you're not i just find it really hard to believe that people are just going to sit and press man against gun bunch especially with some of the other um tactics that we've shown you for getting people unbumpable and getting other routes open uh within the other plays of this but as you can see here if they press you just throw it early um if they press you just throw it over early um that route's going to get inside leverage pretty consistently now if they have a bench press ability or something like that you know i understand that being an issue but typically you know if the route just runs as it is you'll see like right here the route's going to run as it's supposed to and you see right there, it's going to beat it to the outside. So it's either going to be open early or late. That's what I call a two-window route. You're going to have two different opportunities for you to be able to hit this against the coverage. Now, what most people are going to do as far as how they're going to defend you, if they want to defend you from man coverage, is they're going to do something like the following. They're going to put two purples out there, something like this right here. And then they're going to put a deep blue out um, from, their, from their middle linebacker, right? This is a very popular tactic. So now we're in shaded coverage over top man coverage. Well, this is where, um, this is more in the wheelhouse of what this play can do for you. Uh, and what you'll notice is this, this um, C route, hard left pass lead it, it's going to get over the purple zones. Easy money. Um, it's going to get open o over every zone, uh, cloud flat or purple. So like, for, for, for example, let's say I did something like this. Let's say I, I man aligned, you know, and I put these guys in the outside and I'm going to take them and I'm going to put them in cloud flats. What you'll notice about the running back, and the running back's job in this in this play is to pull those zones to the left side. So you see here, he's going to pull them, and right there, you see. And I shouldn't have lowballed it. I'm sorry. I should have. I should have got it over. Um, as long as they're not doing zone drops, you know, this is going to be effective. I do want to show you uh, later on in the video what's going to happen when they start zone dropping because this is the play at which they're going to start having to do that uh, more and more. But what you'll see on this left side C route, passly this hard left click on and most of the time you'll win uh, you'll win an aggressive catch the other thing that i will say about this route is if you haven't again it's i'm going to keep saying it but it's so important for the you know if you're playing with the green bay packers Devonte adams will never lose on that route the reason mike evans will occasionally lose on that route is because he does not have 90 deep route running or higher that's the biggest issue but when you start playing mutt and you start you know and i'm not saying you have to play mutt to run this scheme but what I'm simply saying is, you know, in Mutt, this is not an issue because every player on your team at this point in the year should have pretty good route running. If you're playing regs, 
the corners aren't going to be as good, so you should still be fine against man-to-man -man coverage. And like I said before, this play is specifically not necessarily a super big-time man-beater. It's more of a zone-beater this year, at least with the way that it works. There's things that you can do against man coverage, don't get me wrong. Um, but in general, what I'm going to suggest is that you beat man coverage with the first two plays that we discussed if they're running man on you every single play, right? But if you get a man look, um, and one of the things I honestly, you know, and this is simple, but just put your tight end on an out route and, and you'll, you know, this, this tight end out route will work, uh, for you pretty, pretty consistently. I don't know what happened right there, but he'll, he'll pretty, he'll, he will pretty, pretty consistently, um, beat man-to-man -man coverage. Let me just show you this one more time. The route to Godwin, I want him on a streak. I really do because it's going to, it's going to make it so much more effective against zone. If Godwin is on a streak. Um, so I like to leave him on a streak, but you see here, just, just hit the out route to the tight end. If you're worried about man-to-man -man coverage, uh, in any way. Now I want to move, um, I want to move to, to, uh, to zone coverage. And I want to specifically start with cover two, because I think you're going to get a lot of cover two. Um, I, I really do. And what you'll see from a cover two standpoint is you have a high, low read on basically both sides of the field with that streak to Godwin. Now, once they start to show you more zone coverage, you, you don't want to smart route Scotty Miller. You want to leave him on his default depth. If they're in man, if they're running a lot of man, you want to smart route him because you're going to get a chance for that big play. If you if they're not in man coverage, you don't want to smart route him. You want to leave him on this default because the, if he's smart routed, it's going to be a lot easier for them to get a, a good drop from their zones and they're going to be able to stop this. So I like to leave him on his default. Now we're going to motion him out and then we're going to motion him back in and then we're going to motion him back out. And what you'll see now, um, as far as this goes, is this route, this flat route to the, to the tight end on the left side. If they're not playing hard flats, this is now a lot more open because the corner route, the AI of the game is basically playing high. You know, they're playing deep to short. That's kind of the principle of the, you know, Tampa two zone is they're going to play, you know, effectively they're going to play uh, deep to deep to short. So uh, let me show you one more time here what I'm talking about with this tight end route. And then we'll show you the running back as well. So again, you're going to motion Scotty Miller out, motion him back in and then motion him back out. And right here, what you'll see here, whoops, I'm sorry, I accidentally uh, went to man coverage and I did have the C route, I just threw it a little bit late. Um, Cause I wanna show you that, I, I primarily wanna show you the flat route to the tight end here. So the, the, the flat route to the tight end, cover two, and what we're gonna do is a little bit of a twist on this, but you'll see right here, this backside is going to be uh, very powerful too against cover two. We'll get to that in just a second, but you'll see this right here. You see the tight end, just let him get out there and, and you're going to be able to get, you know, a pretty decent, uh, a pretty decent gain against cover two. Now, the next thing that you can do is let's say you see some, let's say you see cover two, right? Again, as I say in every video, you generally want to run your bunch to the wide side of the field. So if you're on the right hash mark, you would want to flip this play uh, and run it the other direction. But what you'll see right here, whoops, I'm sorry, I missed my, my motion. As soon as he moves, you know, really right here, that's where you want the ball snapped. And against cover two, what you'll see is this route will get over it. You just pass lead it up, and it's going to get over the cover two. It's going to beat every cover two in the game. Now, at this point, this is where people are going to start running some cover three on you but i want to show you the backside against cover two just so that you can see uh what you're working with obviously if they blow a coverage in the middle of the field you still have your um your slot receiver godwin right here you still have him streaking right up the slot so if they blow a coverage um you know you can you can obviously hit that but i want to show you, show you the c route you'll see here against cover two uh this c route does fairly good um this is this is cloud flat coverage, right? This is cloud flat co coverage. I'm going to go ahead and shade this coverage up just so I can get a little bit better of a look at this left side. But what you'll notice here, he gets, whoops, wow, he just got super shedded from practice mode. He gets he gets up there really, really well um, on this cover two. So this is, again, this is just basic cover two. And what you'll see on this left side, if you watch the C route, 
He gets rerouted and then he comes inside. But right at that point, you see you see how the see how the corner drops back down. That is very common out of cover two, because what's and that's why that flat route is so important. Now you have both things open. If you want to throw this at the snap, you can and you can go up and get a couple yards. Most of the time, that that uh, Tampa two zone will come back down onto the running back. So this is where people are going to start to run more of cover three, and cover three you have two options you can run deep halves which is basically cover three invert or you could run cover three with outside thirds which is traditionally what a cover three looks like and at this point what you're going to do is you're just going to simply make a read now this streak to the this this um this streak to chris godwin is going to be very powerful if they are in cover three um because if they're in the outside thirds Obviously, you still want to read your short routes, but I just want to show you what's going to happen here. If he's in an outside third on that right side corner, that cor that corner will go and take the corner route right there. You see it? And I can pass lead that route to Chris Godwin to the right for a one-play touchdown against cover three. This is one of the oldest tricks in the book from the gun bunch, right? The next thing that I can do is let's say that they're not playing uh, – that they're that they're playing purple zones but they're not playing hard flat zones right so they're playing deep but they're not playing short well that means that he's going to drop back on the corner route and i can hit um i don't know what's going on i don't know why that per that that curl um or why that purple zone played so down i think it's because they don't have their zone drops uh, i don't have zone drops right now but what you'll notice here is this route to gronk you just wait on it a little bit, and then it'll develop, and that's what we're looking for right there. You're going to get about 8 to 10 yards um, to the quick flat. The same thing is kind of true on the backside without the one-play touchdown. So if they play those purple zones, what you'll see here on this back, this back's going to get open a lot earlier, and you can get that out, and you can go easy. So, they again, you got to play flats on both sides, or you got to man some people up. Now, what if they play underneath? Well, if they play underneath, um, you're gonna have obviously you're still gonna have your one play touchdown to Scotty Miller. Um, the issue with this, in my opinion, is if you take a look at this corner route, you'll see that that corner sits on it, and if that's a good corner, if that's like a a, a high rated zone coverage corner, he will do a decent job at taking that route away. The one thing that I want you to understand is obviously you're going to have your your deep streak in behind it and that's going to force them to do deep half their outside corners which we'll talk about in just a moment but what you'll also see from this is you can actually throw this again at multiple windows right so i can throw it right there and you see it gets out pretty nice against that cover three now on the back side the same thing is true as well so let's say that they try to take the running back away but they're not if they're you know they're not mabel coveraging they're not they're still not Mabel coveraging. And Mabel coveraging is what we want to force them to do because once they start to Mabel coverage, it's going to open everything else up. So on this back side here, what you'll notice is this route is basically going to be matched in a cover, cover three look, and he's going to be able to get separation against that. That C route is very underrated this year, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think enough people are running it. I don't think enough people understand it, and I don't think enough people use it. But what you'll see here is this is even purple zones, and purple zones doesn't necessarily get all the way back there. It, it looks like it will, um, and people will say all day it's getting clicked on, intercepted. It's really not going to. Um, they're going to have to do some very specific things to stop this C route, and um, and, and you're going to be affected because linebackers don't react in Madden 21. So – you know, if they're if they're running this from anything other than a uh, other than a quarter uh, look, you know, you're going to be fine. So now what I want to show you is I want to show you what's going to happen once they start to drop their zones because this is the first play that we've really talked about in the ebook, um, or I'm sorry, the guide that people would really need to drop a zone drop would actually help them stop it, right? Um, and so what's going to happen here is you're going to come out your gun bunch and we're going to show you this corner strike. And I want to show you uh, what Mabel coverage is going to mean for this. So first and foremost, I want to show you what a 20-yard purple zone does against a C route and against that corner route on that left side. So we're going to run this first and foremost just 
and we're not going to worry about the flats. The flats are going to be wide open. We're not going to worry about that right now. I just want to show you what this is going to do to the route. You'll see here the C right on the left. You see he's going to drop into that vicinity, and he's going to play it, right? Not really a good window. What you might not have noticed is because of the flat route to the back, watch this right there. I can kind of, I can't quite get it to him there, but if I have a little bit better of an alignment, let's say that this linebacker, and again, part of this is about placement, right? So understand this. Let's say that this linebacker, whoops, uh, let's say this, this linebacker happens to be a slot corner now. Now I've got a little bit better of a shot here. Low ball right there. Okay, he's able to play it. So if they shade 20 yards, you're not going to have a window to be able to throw this. But what you will be able to do is let's say that let's say that this is um, you you will be able to have a window to throw the flat routes. But one one other thing, really quick before we dive into that, let me show you Scotty Miller's route. So same kind of thing. This is cover three uh, with Mabel coverage, and what you'll see is this out route. Um, if I hard pass lead him to the right, because he has outside leverage, he's going to be able to defeat a zone drop. Because what a zone drop is going to do is it's going to drift there. It's not going to jet there. It's going to drift there. So it's not just going to run and sprint to the spot. It's going to flow to the spot, and then it's going to stop. So what that means for your offense is you can throw this corner route. Right there, You don't, what, you, what you don't want to do is you don't want him to get over him. If the receiver gets over the, the, the linebacker that is covering him, that's when you're in trouble. And so that's why on, on corner strike, what I like to recommend is to get him out there a little bit more so you can get that outside leverage so you can pass lead that hard um, hard right outside and you need a little bit more space there to be able to get this ball to him. Um, so what I, what I would recommend, you know, again, just get him out there. But if you know you're facing some type of cover three, you want to get this guy out here really, really good. And there you see he's away. From, see how he's away? He's got enough space to be able to be pass led open, essentially. So the next thing that they're going to do, pretty much guarantee you, is they're going to Mabel coverage you on both sides of the field. What a Mabel coverage looks like is it is basically, um, at least the way that we teach Madden. Okay, I just want to stick with that for right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to take both of these inside backers and we're going to drop them into, um, into a zone. And then this guy right here, um, is going to be my user uh, defender, right? So both, there's basically no yellows on the field. It's just the, the user robber in the middle of the field. Now, what that's going to mean is they're going to be able to take away your hard flats. Um, you're also going to be able to see here. I can't, I can't do this. And let me just, I can't, I can't hit the, I can't hit the C route. Let me show you what this looks like in instant replay. I just want to show you the, 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 the reads here. And what you'll see on this, this is just Mabel coverage. So what do you see when you see this? Well, the first thing that I would hope that you see is you see that the, because the tight end has leverage to the outside, we could probably hit him wide open. The second thing I hope you see is that if we get that corner or that route out there out to the sideline enough, he's going to be pretty good um, against, this, against this look right here. The second thing I hope you see is this right here. Obviously, you have your one play touchdown. So they've Mabel coveraged me on this side. They've got one, two, three, four defenders defending three receivers. Now on this back side, I want you to look at what we get here. Snap, throw the ball. You could probably you, you can't get this out here, but look at what is open right now. This is a low pass to the inside, right? I can hit that right there. I can't hit him right here. This is now this is now removed. This is not a throw for me. I can't throw that. So now what I want to do is I want to show you kind of what this could look like um, and, and, and show you the reads against a Mabel, uh, a Mabel defensive coverage, uh, something that I really believe you will face if you have not uh, faced it yet in Madden 21. And that is this right here. So what you'll see is, you know, again, they're probably going to be some, you're, this is what you're going to look like, right? This is, this is more of a, accurate portrayal of, of what could probably happen and what you'll notice here is if i can get this guy out enough right i can throw this to the right that route's open i can hit that it's just a simple pass lead right right at that point i can hit that route 
The next thing that I want you to see is this right here. This is Mabel coverage for both backers are flowing out and I want to show you the tight end. So the tight end, I think most people would say, okay, we put a hard flat out there, that's going to stop the tight end flat route. Not necessarily, um, especially if you have good user, um, good user. Snap, and I'm, I've waited too long and it will stop me. But you see there, I can get that out there. And, and I, know it, I know it looks like, you know, on, on paper it, it shouldn't work. It does. Um, it's consistent. You can hit this tight end at the snap if you want to. So it's a part about understanding, you know, what you have available to you. So you see here, snap, throw it out there, click on, and then I'm just going up the field. And that's an easy 5 to 10 yards. Now I want to work back to the left side of the field, and I want to show you this, um, this specific low ball. And I think this low ball, I think you'll really get a lot of value out of it. Because this, this inside pass lead to left, most people are not going to worry about the left side guy. They're going to worry about the right side. Most people will not cover. They will. They will not cover that left side guy. They will leave him open a lot. Okay. So if you're facing a cover three defense, and they're and they're doing something like that, you run your little motion play. They've got Mabel on that backside, and all you're going to do is low pass Mike Evans to the inside, right at the point that you see the linebacker is going to the flat. That's it. That's all you're going to do. And you'll be successful. I do want to show you one other look at this, and I want to show it to you uh, to the back here. You see how that flat kind of plays? You see how that? You see how when they shoot the flat out there from the backer, that it kind of plays a little bit of of um, of what you're looking at trying to uh, uh, attack with Mike Evans. Another option that that's going to leave your 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 player is okay. Well, now look, look at the, look at all the space that it's opened up on that left side. Now, if I could get a good throw from Tom Brady and get the ball to him, you know, that that would be a read as well. So what I'm trying to get at here is this Mabel coverage is going to stop it, um, but it's only going to stop it a little bit. You're still going to be able to do this. Now, how do they stop the one-play touchdown? They stop the one-play touchdown uh, over the top by putting their outside corners in a deep half. So what I'm going to do, you'll see this a lot of people that have been fitting bunch. They're going to run outside quarter coverage on both sides of the field. So let's say that they do that. I want to show you how this plays. It's going to open up more space for your corner route to be thrown uh, on a pass lead up. So what you'll see here, this is 20-yard purples. And you'll notice this, this right here will probably defend it the best. But you can still hit routes. Um, routes are still going to be open. And again, if they don't, if they don't Mabel coverage you, you know, everything is open. But if they do Mabel coverage, you just be aware and understand what you're getting yourself into with this deep or with this offense. Um, Mabel coverage will, you know, semi, you know, it will give you a little bit of trouble. Um, but all in all, um, you know, you'll see right here. I mean, you can obviously, you know, it's going to take a lot of resources to cover this. And so you'll, you'll have playmaker stuff open in the middle. Now let's say that they start to deep half a lot. I want to give you just one little alternate, just one little like nugget a little bit. Let's say that they start to deep half a lot, half deep half a lot. Their corners. There's no reason to send Godwin deep. Just leave him there, and basically playmaker him open. If a play breaks down, you can do that as well. So that is corner strike. I hope that you enjoyed this video breakdown and I hope this was helpful. If you would like me to do more videos like this, leave a like rating on the YouTube video and let me know in the comments um, that you appreciate it and that you would like to see more. Um, if you have not already joined my text message membership, be sure to do that today. Don't let another day go by where you don't sign up for what I believe is the simplest and best way for you to improve in Madden 21. It's helped me get better, and I believe it can help you get better as well. My number is 812-216-3644. Be sure to shoot me a text. Let me know what's up. We'll be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on our YouTube channel. So I'd love to connect with you there. Um, if you have never uh, came to a live stream before, basically what it is is we play Madden, we talk Madden and uh, answer questions, and we play uh, subscribers and members uh, throughout the stream. So if you want to play me in Madden, uh, you guys can come, obviously, and play tonight. Um, and again, I don't pretend to be the best player in the world, uh, but what I will say is I think that I work really, really hard at getting better every single day, and I try to study as much Madden as I possibly can. So 
Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. And like I said, be sure to shoot me a text uh, so that I can get you that extra extra videos and extra content. Our next YouTube video will go live at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So if you have your notifications on, um, as far as like if you've subscribed and you turn your notifications on, that's when that video will come out. Here's a couple videos on the screen that you might have missed. And we will see you guys on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.